commentary is. This is like the knowledge stuff. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah, so just do that. I'll do play by play. You can do like a color, which is just like the analyzing and shit. So yeah. It is. Well, why is that? Oh wait, no what? Hold up. The, the stream isn't picking you up, and it's not your fault either. Um, I wonder why. So, let me just do this really quickly. Sorry. So we're just having some technical difficulties right now. Um, let me just update the scoreboard first. One, all right. And let's, all right, let's try this now. All right, let's see if the stream can hear me. Oh yeah, so can you guys hear him? Oh, stream. Oh, yep, the stream can hear me, the stream can hear me. All right, dope, awesome. All right, so I didn't watch that first game at all because I was trying to figure out how to fix this thing. <laughs> I was watching that first game, and honestly, I, I was wrong. Ness wins the matchup, we have so many more options in Mario, it's insane. Oh yeah. I feel like, and plus, like, Ness just has a better projectile in general. Like, this both, like, this range, this utilization. And just the fact that you can kill a lot more earlier than Mario, or just more consistently in general. Yeah, like, uh, what you call it? The side B is better, much faster. I mean, of course, you know, everyone would be like, oh, he's throwing a projectile. Mario has the cape, just reflect it. It's really not that simple. Not to mention the fact that you have to catch it while it's flying out. And even then, 100% of the time, it won't even work. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Who says he's just gonna run up in front of you? If anything, he could have just side beat as like, you know, a bait to try to get you to do something. And even then, he still, he could, he could have like, uh, what is it, B reverses down B for like, you know, momentum movement into a back air or something. Just to catch you by surprise you know it's just crazy no it is and the only thing that mario kind of has over ness is like edge guarding because he can easily cape um the pk thunder or he can just use flood that's the only thing he has over ness but even then it's like ness just has a lot more yeah, tools and options yeah that's like one of the only advantages he has while you look at ness he has like over a million <laughs> so i wonder if oof's gonna change his character or not because that first game was a shellacken and it looks like he is possibly at least for my screen we're not gonna find out until it shows up on the smash.gg but 
I mean, no lie. I mean, if Oof plays his little Mac, I don't even know how it could go. It get on. I, I honestly don't know what to expect because Oof's little Mac is insane. I, I love fighting his little Mac. It's great. It always, it doesn't feel like I'm getting cheated. Oh yeah, he's no, I agree. Oh yeah, and he's going Mac. He's going to Mac game too. He's going Mac. Oh, I, I think good choice. Um, I know Oof. I Mar hope can hear me. I hope he knows. Yeah, I want to <laughs> see him. I want to see this. I love this. And I think Mario was just more of just like a matchup choice kind of pick. It wasn't really more of just like him being comfortable with the character. I think Mac is just more of him. Like he knows the character. He knows what to do with them. And it's just, I think a better choice overall. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to play this uh, stage here. Okay. And already you got... Be, okay, well, that, that was actually pretty good because it got him off. See, that down B, that down B is really scary. Okay, up to, up to. But then, see, that's the thing. Messes. Messes his uh, aerials are really fast, so he can easily wake up out of like anything. Uh, who's trying to dish, dish out right now? And not to mention the Ness's um, air speed is one best in the game. Like, geez, he's really fast mm -hmm. in the air. But as we speak, yeah, it's a very close game between the two. Like, literally 10% separating both of them. Would have been more than that. And he's gonna make it back on stage. He is. He has KO punch. He can easily, you know, get a good kill here. He's and not that... gonna waste to be keeping it. Oh, and just like that. And just like that with the read, really... runs right up to him and gets the um, KO punch. And just like okay, that is... He's reading the mashes. He's reading the mashes. CJ right here is getting back into a corner, but he if he, pick, if he picks more of his options correctly, he could easily bring this back. But because of Lil Mac's armor, some of these things aren't working he's out on. for him. Yeah, he's on a run right now, but as I say that, CJ with the stock. That was a nice, that was a nice attack air. He put the sweet spot on it, which got him to kill. And he's on edge he too, which is a lot better. And as we said, Ness with the PK fire and the forward air is just bringing this game back in. Yeah. With those games. Oh, that was nice. He, he angled up the uh, forward smash, which got him to kill. That was nice by Oof. And we gotta, we gotta remember too, this is Oof's possible last game of the tournament if he loses it. So he's playing with his heart right now. Yeah, this is loser's bracket. That's nice, 30%. He angled it down for the damage. And Jab. he... Okay, and, I think that's what, 10%? Because he was at 30 before, I think? Yeah, yeah. And it. he's he got him 10% KO punch? He could easily just end it. Oh, oh he, he, he just missed. He just missed a KO punch. But it's okay, because he still has a pretty good lead here. That, and that I, love, nice I love that I series. I love that series. He did a, a Nair at his shield, which got him off stage, and then he did a Nair just to finish off the stock. It's a great job by CJ. And CJ slowly mm -hmm. coming back, but you know, Mac can kill at any moment now, especially with forward tilt, forward smash. Literally, any of his smash dash can kill. That's another thing I like about, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Oof's, uh, Little Mac. He's really good with the movement. He knows what he's doing. With oh, people. yeah, his movement is really good, and just like that, he's almost dead. He got the schmooze. But, but this is CJ we're talking about. He can, oh, yeah. <laughs> and looks like, some... oh, and that, that might forward, deal with that. Forward, yeah. Forward. That, was, that right there, he got a little bit impatient and that cost him the, uh, that cost him the game. He thought, I don't know if he was thinking that maybe that would break his shield, because his shield was smaller than last time when he did that, so maybe he was thinking that. It, it was. But, my that, boy... That is a possibility. Oof taking the first, the second game, so now this is a 1-1 one, one set. This can... This is it, this is it. Next win goes on to Losers Finals. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. This is a uh, losers what? Losers semifinals. This is losers semifinals. Got you. Okay, so it's one one right now. And let's any, see. Any, knowing these players, any one of them could take the game. What, what stage would you go if you um? Oh, they already picked the stage. That was quick. They're going PS2, which I guess is a pretty deep. It's, it's the most neutral stage in the game, honestly. So I respect the mm -hmm. choice. It's, it's I know the I know the one thing that carries little Mac in the nest for the Mac matchup is that armor on side on smash attacks. Oh yeah, that's it his thing. Into, like, like the thing I like because you know how like some nest players they like to PK fire and then go into like an aerial or something. Little Mac just says bump that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna smash attack straight through it and you're gonna get hit at the same time. If Mac didn't have that in this game, he would be like easily a terrible character. But like, with that armor, he's he goes from terrible to pretty much you know pretty bad. <laughs> So, okay, okay, getting two up tilts in, that's pretty good. Up B, he expected him to go for, uh, you know, an option, but okay, four two. And nice just like that, 30%, and he's on a roll of 40% immediately. Okay. This damage is really good. 
And they're going. Oof is really is picking his options really well, trying to play it safe while also you know getting a little bit of the offense. In. He could fire up B to get him off. Him. Nice. Just just got rid of all the pressure that was put on him. Still got damage on the PK fire. So I mean that's still a pretty good that's just still a pretty good thing for CJ. And Ness is off stage, and that air dodge. He was trying to go for the ledge, but he missed it, and it cost him one stock. I don't know. Again, he's gonna do. He just reacted. Oh my god! He's. Bro, this is actually so hype. Okay, forward tilt. That's a good 10% right there. He's able to regain stage control though, CJ, but he brings it back. Good back throw, and he's gonna get his PK pulse. Oh, he just misses nice it. Yeah, it's a great oh, counter there. Nice. Nice. Oh, the nice is gone. When CJ is in trouble right now, he's not able to fish this kill. Nice up B. Nice up B off the up tilt. Though. I'm, pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that's a true combo at this percent. I think so too, honestly. Because I've seen a couple people do that. And good job. The PK fire. Oh, not going to oh, kill, oh. though. At least he got the conversion, though. That forward air should do it, and it does do it. Now... This is Mac. That was a nice reverse aerial on CJ's part. That was really good. He chose the reverse aerial back here, got the sweet spot, and almost got the kill with it. But even though he messed it, even though he didn't get the kill, he still secured it. He still secured it, and CJ coming back little by little. And like we said, yeah, Mac he's playing, he's playing it safe. Choosing his offense wisely. Sweet spot on the back here. Okay, PK fire. Don't trying to zone him out right now, which is honestly one of the better options. Dang. Was and that, that was a bait. That was a that bait. Was a, that was a bait. CJ, and he's gonna get the grab. Oh. Really Goes for the up smash. He whips okay. the attack and he loses the sock. But Mac is off stage. Dang. And great PK pulse. This is going to the last stock. Zero zero. See that? That's the thing. That, see that right there? That's Pokemon Stadium right there. Some moves can hit through the stage. And that's the interesting property about that stage, like you said. And the nice. armor breaks right through the jab lock and the forward smash. He got it. Oh my gosh. Okay. See, but this see, is I mean, anybody's game. Still pretty much even. His game's still pretty much even. This could go anyway. Okay. Yep. I, I, I think we're gonna see CJ slow down a bit because we don't. You don't want to play fake quick against Mac. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Mac has that KO punch right now. Impatient with that side beat. I know. He's got, he's got this kill punch online though, and he misses it. Is that going to cost him the game? No, it doesn't. He missed it. CJ didn't get the edge guard, but I think he's just trying to play it safe. You know what I mean? He's not that, okay. He's that still was a little recovery. Ooh, that was an amazing okay. recovery by Mac. Both players playing it really good right now, choosing their options wisely because they know any wrong option could really cost them the game. That's the ID was really good. Oh, oh you, that's the thing about Mac. If he you go off stage, anything. Can happen off stage with Mac like that. That was well. I mean, we can we can both agree. We can all agree that was really good games played by both players. That I was. Mean, they still they still get a prize. Um, Oof still gets the prize. It's now guaranteed prizes for everyone. Oh yeah.